Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a project on Enigma I built in C. So Enigma is actually a machine, but before you see the project on C, the digital Enigma, let me give you what is actually the Enigma machine. The Enigma is a machine which is built in the time of Second World War by Germans. This is actually a cryptic machine, looks like a regular typewriter. So here you can see this is uh, the key section, just like our keyboard. It's actually a cryptic machine, so you, you give some meaningful text uh, as an input and something completely gibberish, something completely cryptic came out from the machine. So this is Enigma actually. So Germans actually communicate with their allies uh, by using this machine. So as you can see here at the top of the section, at the top of the machine, there's three wheels. And these wheels are actually the rotors of the Enigma and these rotors are actually the heart of Enigma. Uh, at the bottom of the rotor section you can see there is a light board and at the light board after, uh, after the light board you can see the key section so whenever you press a key suppose you press the key Z and the light D lifts up so now the output of Z is D again you press the Z key and now the light Y lifts up so every time you press the same key some different light leads up and the, whichever the light leads up it's completely unpredictable even for the operator who is actually using the enigma so when a, whichever the light leads up is actually the output and at the bottom of the whole machine you can see there's a plug board section so um, at the top the rotor section light board section key section and the plug board section these four actually the main components of the enigma so in, you can think like it's a magic box and suppose this as this apple is the input so apple goes into the magic box and something different comes out like a grape again you use the same magic box and use the same input the same input goes into the magic box and now a different output comes out like a jackfruit this is actually the things the features of enigma the main feature of enigma so how the enigma actually works you can see the top say, top view of the machine at the top you can see the rotors the light board the keys and at the bottom the plug board you can see the plug board uh, completely at the right section so now let's talk about the working principle of enigma so there's a very tricky wiring going on into in this thing in this machine so whenever you press a key suppose you press the key a okay so now the internal circuit just got completed as here at the uh, top right corner there's batteries actually and those act batteries are actually the main source of the current and now you press the key A the electric flows from A to the plug board and as you can see in the right section uh, the A the plug board A is, com is connected with the plug J so the current comes from here to a this plug board section and in this plug board section it goes to j okay so from here suppose this is j okay so from this j it goes to the rotor section the first rotor so the rotors are like so whenever you press a key the rotor moves a bit the right rotor moves fast uh, the middle rotor moves uh, not not so fast and this left one is the slowest rotor it's it these three rotors are just like the hands of the clock so whenever this right rotor completes a rotation the left rotor rotates a bit and the when the middle rotor completes a rotation com uh, 360 degree you know the left rotor rotates a bit so it's just like the three hands of a clock so after the current comes to the first rotor uh, it goes to the second rotor here the middle rotor after it goes to the middle rotor it again comes to the third rotor the left the leftmost rotor and here there's another trick they actually use a reflector so after the current goes to the left rotor it goes to the reflector so as you can uh, guess by the name that after it goes to the reflector it reflects back the current comes back again to the leftmost rotor from the leftmost rotor it comes to the middle rotor and from the middle rotor it comes back to the first rotor 
so every rotor it when the current goes to the every rotor the output alphabet changes so after it comes to the first rotor the current goes back to the plug board the current goes back to the plug board and after it comes to the first rotor suppose now it's o here and whenever it go goes back to the plug board as as you can see here the o is connected with s okay so now after uh, it comes to the plug board and the plug board as the o is connected with the s so now from the s the electric goes to the light board section and the letter s lights up so you press the a a key it goes to the plug board from the plug board it goes to the j so if and then it goes to the every rotor so whenever it goes to the every rotor the letter actually changes after the reflector it comes back through all the rotors again to the plug board and the from the plug board you can see the o is connected with s so now the word s lights up so this is how actually enigma works if you want to know how actually enigma works you can go google it uh, wikipedia has a nice page uh, describing all this uh, rotor the working principle of enigma okay so by this thing actually you can produce actually many combinations of output from an enigma message so 158 quadrillion messages you can produce by an by an enigma so in the time of second world war how actually they work every day this is actually the code sheet of enigma i uh, downloaded it from wikipedia in this code sheet you can see here at the left most section there's actually the rotor combination number so so every day uh, the operator have has to set the rotors in a proper co combination at the right section these are actually the plug board combination so every day they has to change the rotor size the rotor numbers and the plug board numbers this is actually how they actually communicate with each other by the enigma machine so if you want to know more about enigma you can just google it in wikipedia there's a lots of pages on enigma so now let's give you the example i built in c the, my enigma machine works just as the actual actual enigma it has also the rotors the plug boards you can set the plug boards you can set the rotors just like a normal enigma so uh, this is the c code on enigma so let me run it uh, it's just some switch case thing but i don't use switch case actually you can um, see the plug board it's the rotor combination 3 and the output so let me give some uh, input first the input word c o f f e e coffee so i use the coffee word because that's the same word like f f e e right so i just give some input and now let me give the plug board combination okay so here now if you press 1 you can see what's in the plug board now so now we didn't configure the plug board yet so now let's configure the plug board so do you wish to configure plug board yes i wish to yeah obviously so now i have to give the pairs how many pair i want to give in the plug board so here i use the input word coffee so here i have c o f and e these four letters so let me give some four pairs c is will c will be Uh, connected with V, O will be connected with P. Anything you, you can use any word here. So now, now let's see the blackboard. As you can see here, C is connected with V, O is connected with P, F, Q, and E, R. Okay, now let's get back to the main menu. So now I have the blackboard set by the code sheet. Every day you have to give some rotor combination. and now let's give some rotor combination i have to give some rotor combination in the form of x y z so let's give the number 23 12 and 13 so this is our rotor combination so now the initial rotor combination is 23 12 and 13 plug board i used the plug board so it's sh showing that i used 
and what is the plug board combination and now the coffee becomes M K N C M A it's completely gibberish coffee so C becomes M O becomes K F becomes N Ag again there's another F at that becomes C and E becomes M as you can see here C becomes M and also E becomes M so the output is completely gibberish and now I use the same input coffee and now I see the output again as you can see here now it's M N M B S Z T now every time you give the input coffee something different comes out so first time it was M K N C M A and the second time it's N M B S Z T okay so as you can see here the initial rotor combination at the first time it's 23 12 and 13 and now it's 17 12 and 13 every time you give an input the rotor actually rotates every time I told you in the briefing section right so now it's 17 12 and 13 this is the only the encoding section of course the cycle will not be completed till I de decode it so let me exit from the uh, program and rerun it now I have another enigma suppose this is the decoding enigma so now I first have to give the same blackboard combination as the encoding enigma right so let me give the same blackboard combination as I have before like CV let's get back to the main menu and now let's give the um, rotor combination at the first I give the rotor combination 23 12 and 13 right so now let's give the gibberish word as the input in this enigma as you know this I have to decode the word and I have to get back the word coffee so now let's give the input okay uh, let's give the word and let's see what its output is see so now you can see here the word is copy so I give some gibberish word as the input as with the same rotor combination and the same plug board combination and now the word is copy and at the second time I use another uh, as the second time you can see there's another rotor combination let's give the same rotor combination now like uh, it's, it was 17, 12 and 13 I write it down actually uh, 17, 12 and 13 and now let's give the word this is now the input word now let's see the output see now it's copy so now let's give some different rotor combination like uh, anything like uh, 12, uh, 23, 12 and now give the same input the gibberish word input as the input like uh, M N N M B S Z T. So this is now the input word, and let's see what's the output now. As you can see here, the output will not be coffee because I give some uh, arbitrary rotor combination 12, 23, 12. So this is how Enigma encoding and decoding works. So thanks for watching. Get back to my next video. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, it's, it's my it's my first time. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. Sorry.